Hi there. My name is George Hinson, and I'm founder and CEO of Toad, the outdoor advertising directory. And I'm here today to ask for £100,000 in exchange for 10% equity stake in the company. Around three years ago, I tried to book a billboard for a friend's birthday so that he could see a massive picture of his happy face on the way to work every day. However, I found the basic information like price, location, and availability of these signage sites were very difficult to acquire. Um, so we set out to solve this problem. Um, and now what, what we've done is approach all the organizations that own and operate these sites. In the UK, it's around half a million. And we've combined these billboards, bus stops, and phone boxes onto our platform and layered it with audience data so that anyone can search for, click, and buy these signage sites across the UK. So here the opening interface shows um, thousands of pins across London. Um, now there's a range of criteria there, like age, demographic, uh, gender, and interests. And in a matter of seconds, it will show you the optimized sites to reach that target audience. And then I can look at the audience data in the area and use the viewfinder to see it's in the right sort of orientation and location, and it's simple as that. I, uh, I welcome any questions, and thank you very much for your time. On a mission to make booking outdoor advertising simpler is George Hinson from London. He's looking for £100,000 for a 10% stake in his web-based business. Will Tuka Suleiman see the opportunity as a potential commercial success? George. Yeah, hi. How long have you been going? Two years. Um, and that includes the time for product development. So, have you had one full year of trading? Um, I'd say about six months. So, what's your first six months figures look like? Um, so, I um, have got uh, 12, 12,000 pounds um, in um, invoices that are out the door, but that should be coming in shortly. Okay, billboard advertising. As you go up the flyover, coming off Malibun Road, yeah. there's a big poster there. Give me an idea what that would cost. Um, it could be like 10 or 20,000 a day for that site. So what margin do you make on it? 15% down from that, so. You make 15%? Yeah. So your commission could be ranging from a few hundred to a few thousand. Yeah, yeah, and we're trying to now focus on the higher spends. You've turned over 12 grand. Yeah. But you've come up with a valuation of a million pounds. I'm assuming some big contract from somebody for the next 12 months that underpins your valuation. No. We have made incidental sales while we're building the platform. I don't think it merits a million pound valuation, though. No. Doesn't. So we agree on that. It's an early setback for George, who can't provide a justification for the price tag he's placed on the company. Next, a dragon whose health empire is all too familiar with this sector and wants to get to the nitty gritty of how the site works. This is all very exciting. I love outdoor media and we spend a lot. In fact, I think we're the largest spender of outdoor media in our vitamin industry. So if I want to advertise on a billboard, when I use your site, it'll tell me the price of that. Yeah, yeah. A live and pricing. The... And where do you get that pricing from? We get it from the media owners, yeah. Right, so you just know the site, and then you've got to go and check if it's available for those two weeks. Yes, yeah, that's great, yeah. But when it comes to working a campaign, how does your site work in that way? So it is meant for local business, perhaps McDonald's will do a push-pull strategy where you book sort of five sites around it to um, direct people towards your retail location, and maybe five sites around a Burger King to push people away from it. <laughs> so the data that you're collecting or you can offer me as an advertiser, that many cars go past it and that many eyeballs see it, how do you collect all of that data? Because to me, that's the bit that becomes more valuable. But we do know statistically averaged where people reside and people are habitual. So we know if they start their journey in Clapham and finish in Bank, uh, they'll probably do that every day. And how are you picking up their journey? TfL gives you where you start and finish your journey. And then the Department for Transport data is for the traffic counts. So what's the really clever bit about your website then? 
if you speak to an agency, they're going to tell you a lot of the information that you've said they're going to give me anyway. So what's the yeah. really clever bit? Um, I mean, the agencies will be quite expensive. Plus, there's no other platform that shows you this amount of the market across this many suppliers alongside audience data. The ad man is giving his software the hard sell to the dragons. Will crafting queen Sarah Davies see the company as an eye-catching prospect? Hey, George. Hey, right. I personally don't do any of this outdoor billboard advertising. So I'll just be really honest, and there's no great way to flower this up. It's just not a business that I personally feel excited about. Unfortunately, it's not a one for me, and I'm out. George has lost his first dragon. Does tech tycoon Peter Jones have a different perspective on this newly developed online platform? Hi. Hi. You've clearly done a really good job. How long did it take you to physically get all the locations put onto the site? Still ongoing. We're still getting... With the major ones, took about a uh, year and a half. And how many have you got? 120,000 above ground individual locations. What I'm concerned about about your business model is that you're squeezed, you're in the middle. You're not likely to be able to compete with the big boys and then the small guy at the end, he's going to go, well, I want that, that, and ultimately you're doing a transaction at a very low level. I think you need to find your mid-market and I think then you've potentially got a business. If you had weight and buying power behind you, this would be a great investment. You don't have that and that's the bit that I'm not sure you'll ever get. So, for that reason, I'm out. I'm going to absolutely echo what Peter said. And if I were you, the first thing I would do is to go back and see how you can add value to somebody else's proposition. Why would I just not use an agency? They're not all going to charge you an absolute fortune, particularly not if you've got a decent-sized budget. I won't be investing. I'm out. A second and third dragon bow out of the deal leaving George's campaign for investment on shaky ground. Will retail giant Tuka Suleiman be the one to save him? George, I'm not in this field, but I've got a few investments in the marketing world. And there's always the one thing which you've got to have, and that's your USP. You have not got a USP. You're just an agent. And unfortunately, for that reason, I'm not going to invest them out. Tuka Suleiman opts out, unconvinced that George's offering has an edge on the big boys. But has the last dragon standing, Tej Lalvani, seen a pathway to success that the others have missed? So, look, you've heard everyone here, and... Um, I think something like this should be packaged as a license to advertising agencies to say here, £5,000 a year, access to my platform, and use it that way. Um, agencies have tested it, but they actually rather use us to do it as a managed service. I think your tech is, is good, but unfortunately your valuation is way high. Here's the thing. I could be interested in helping and working with you. On the basis that you'd be willing to focus on this direction of making a subscription model with advertising agencies, I'll make you an offer. But it comes at a price. So I'll offer you all the money, 100,000 pounds for 45%. Um, okay. Go take a yeah. moment, just... chat with the wall. OK. It gives good advice. With his own vision of how the business can succeed, Tej Lalvani offers the full £100,000 and a new vision for the company, but at a price, as he wants four and a half times the equity that George wanted to give away. Uh, uh. Um, words, uh... Could you do, um, 40? 
It's 100K, it's a high valuation, you haven't got any sales, your direction's all over the place. It's gonna take a lot of work. So that was my thinking. I think I'd like to accept your offer, yeah? Would yes! You? Hey! Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Great. Thank you very much. Great. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Welcome aboard. All right. Brilliant. Thank you. Great. Um, all right, see you later. Well done, George. Well done, George. Okay. Thank you very much. Cheers.